years, it is a pleasure to say this. Hello, Chicago. The last few years have been a very long decade. So, uh, don't move over. Okay. We have the World Wide Estate Ninja, by the way. Get used to it. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the 2021 Furry Variety Show. I am Chris, uh, Chris Mouse. I will be your host for the remainder of the evening. Uh, a couple things to mention here. Uh, first of all, you will see some of our performers not wearing masks. We do have a, an exemption for the whole pandemic thing that happened. That wasn't our fault! Don't blame the mice for this one. You know what I'm talking about. So yeah, don't, don't, don't be all, you know, Twittering. Yeah, they're not wearing masks. I say, it's okay, we got an exemption, it's cool. Uh, the second thing, this is a, uh, well, there will be a little bit of audience participation near the end of it. You guys are gonna have to get a vote at the end of the show for your favorite act. And your favorite act is gonna be getting, uh, what are we playing this year? I don't wanna say it unless I'm, I don't wanna be wrong. But we're getting a cool prize, but you guys get to vote on it. So keep in mind what acts you kinda like and what you don't like. And the other thing is that um, if you like some of the things that you're seeing on stage, feel free to take pictures. Please, no flash photography. That's for our sake up here. But, you know, you've got phones, right? Yeah. Don't leave me hanging. I think so. Okay. Leave me hanging up on stage here. Jeez. I know a mouse, but not. We good? All right, so on with the show. So uh, let's see, uh, we're going to start a little bit, uh, well, something a little different. Uh, Skylar, I'm getting kind of, uh, I get the name wrong every time. I have Swiss cheese memory, I can't help it. Uh, but yeah, there it goes, uh, Skylar.
Confirmation. Uh, you're voting at the end of the show to give one person a membership for next year's con. So keep that in mind. Uh, the videos, unfortunately, don't uh, don't qualify. You have to actually be here on stage. So the next time you see those cartoon dogs out in the street someplace, okay. <laughs> Joke grenade. Somebody will get it eventually. Uh, so, uh, let's, uh, shall we move along? I think we shall move along. Ladies and gentlemen, we do have a lot of musical acts tonight, and tonight we have, for your listening pleasure, Citrine Husky. I didn't go enough time, did I? <laughs> it's fine. It's fine? All right. Ladies and gentlemen, Citrine Husky. How you doing, Nick West? 
I wasn't sure what I was going to sing for you tonight, but um, since I can't see you, so I have no fears at this point, um, I decided why not do some Michael Jackson, huh? I'm not grabbing her. No, I'm not gonna do it. This is an under 18 show. And that's where the joke stops. Got it, okay. Well, this is a variety show. And what's a variety show without variety? No, what's that? A show. You fit more perfectly into the next few acts more than you think. <laughs> so, um, well, oh, oh, I shouldn't, I shouldn't be a smart aleck. Okay, I forgot how heavy this is. So I want, to, I want everybody to picture the scene. I want everybody to kind of, you know, cast your mind back to, I don't know, um, retro cinema kind of thing? Like the old, actually, gosh, that's even dating me. Uh, the old serials, anybody? Nobody, okay. 
Do we have any movie fans? Let's start there. A couple people like movies. One or two people like movies. Yeah, okay. But way back when, there were um, old Pulp Fiction movies, old serial movies, back when they had to just crank them out, like YouTube content. Every day a new thing or the audience gets bored. Actually, come to think of it, YouTube is actually less... You know, it doesn't matter. Uh, are we good yet? No, we're not good yet. Are we okay? You let me dry out here. Okay. I'm going to assume everything's okay. So I want you to cast your mind back to the science fiction of this convention, right? The whole theme is sci-fi, fantasy. Ladies and gentlemen, Eric Adler and friends. It is the latter half of the 24th century, and mankind has fled to the stars. Among the many woes discovered in the void, several anomalies have been found. Professor Eric Adler has been dispatched from the Dagon Research Institute to check on one such anomaly, codenamed the Colossus. Ah, oh, welcome to McGuffin 7. How was your trip? As well as can be expected, hyperspace jumps always leave me with the uneasy feeling of having been drunk. What's so bad about being drunk? Ask a glass of water. Well, um, here's the latest update on our research so far. Okay, let's see. Skeletal and muscular systems are sound. Auditory system is functional. Cerebrospinal system is sound. All matching previous reports. Say, can I get a look at the anomaly? Yes, this station overlooks the plane containing it. Whoa, louder than advertised. We often see a response like that from first-time viewers. Is there a communication link to the worksite? The controls for the PA system are right there. Hello. 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 Greetings, all. Professor Adler from the Dagon Institute here. I just wanted to thank you all for the excellent work you're doing out there. Every one of you are appreciated. From the site foreman to the catering staff to that guy up on the knee without his fall protection gear. Could someone get him down before he gets hurt? So, continue with the report. Excuse me, you left the PA on. So, everyone at the site is cleared for this information. After all, they were the ones who worked together. Let's see, total movement in the past week, zero millimeters. Total movement in the past month, zero millimeters. Total movement in the past year. It hasn't moved since it's discovered, right? Not an inch. Inch? Inch? This is the future. We do everything in metric. Right. Continuing with... Oh, can I get some iced tea? Just a half time to wet my whistle. Continuing with the report. No response to auditory simulation at any frequency or volume. EEG readings show no conscious thought in the past. Um, no conscious thought ever. <sighs> this... This makes no sense. This is ridiculous. Why would evolution give a creature legs, ears, and a brain if it never uses any of them? Suddenly, the ground trembles as the Colossus starts to rise. The clouds scattering at the far horizon as its head pierces the stratosphere. The being tilts its head briefly. Then, with a voice like thunder, it booms out. It wouldn't. And promptly squats back down in the middle of the vast plain. Of course. It only stands to reason. <laughs> there seems to be a ward on the door. Anyone who passes shall be slowed. So whatever's in there is going to be able to attack us and we'll be helpless. Why don't we cause something in? Hmm, the ward looks like it's just for organic life, so it might work. But who knows what's going to attack us in there? Can I try something? Okay, just have something ready. <clears throat> you know what they call a tree ant sailing in the Arctic? Shiver me timbers! Our rangers started using blunt arrows, and I told them that was pointless. 
Did you hear about the lichen folk that can only transform while wearing boxers or briefs? It's an underwear wolf! Did you know what a rogue's favorite armor is? Hide. And you know what a rogue's favorite metal is? Steel. <laughs> I didn't know mimics understood dad jokes. That triggers that RNG response. The obligatory mimic groan? Uh, I'll just disenchant the door then. We, uh, we, we don't let him play in our d and group anymore. <laughs> they get much worse. <laughs> much worse. The problem is he insists on playing a bard. Not that kind of bard. <laughs> no. What's that? Natural enemy of DM. Natural enemy of Dungeon Masters everywhere. <laughs> the bard. Well, why can't a bard be a stand-up comic? I love bard. Hmm? Well, anyway, um, yeah, we've been a little bit uh, slow and wholesome, so I think, uh, I think perhaps we should make it a little more evil. Can we get a little bit of mood lighting, please? Yeah. Something sinister, something dark, something wicked this way comes. If you don't understand that reference, ask a gray muzzle sitting next to you. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Mousiness.
All right. Wow. We gotta get more of that. Anyway. So, uh, yeah, I think we should slow it down a little bit. We'll go into one of the staples of our variety show from way back from the beginning. And I'm talking like 2000, Y2K. Can, I, can we say this can get started in the, uh, in the 20th century, the 19th century? Uh, no. No? Okay. But since way back when, we've always had a puppet show, a puppet act. You don't see many anymore, but you're going to see one tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, um, almost, maybe, kind of, I'm going to stand over here. Almost. Almost. Live, everybody. This is what happens when you show up to live theater. Anything could happen. Um, I mean, you know, the, 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 light, the, uh, the New York City manhole cover could come up and it could be Rum Tum Tigger instead of, uh, you know, the old cat and uh, what's its face. Okay, so you don't watch movies. <laughs> you don't watch furry musicals. Okay, we're ready now. You can you can let them go. Okay. <laughs> It'll get all the polite if you just got a hook. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, ladies and gentlemen, nature. Here. Come on out. You didn't tell me I'd have to be a girl. Please, hysterium. We must convince the captain. You'll never believe I'm a girl. Look at me. Just look at me. I can't take my eyes off you. You're lovely. Absolutely lovely. Who'd believe the loveliness of you? Sweet and warm and winsome Radiant as in some dream Come true Now Venus will sing time Helen and a thousand ships Will have to die of shame so lovely, frighteningly lovely, that the world will never seem the same. Now you just stand there quietly and think maidenly thoughts. I'm lovely. Absolutely lovely. Who believes the loveliness of me? Perfect, sweet and warm and winsome, radiant as in some dream come true. Slowly. 
Increase to medium speed and mix until soft peaks form. Add in vanilla and any food coloring you would like, then continue mixing until the meringue clumps in the whisk and forms very stiff peaks. Add one third of your almond flour mixture into your meringue and gently fold until everything is fully incorporated. Add in the remaining flour and begin folding very carefully, scooping around the outside and gently folding over. Fold until your mixture develops a lava-like consistency and you can create an unbroken figure eight shape by drizzling the batter off of your spatula. Place the batter in a piping bag and pipe one and a half inch circles onto lined baking trays. Tap the tray on the counter several times to remove any air bubbles and use a toothpick to pop any remaining bubbles. Rest your macarons for 30 to 60 minutes until they develop a skin and feel dry to the touch. Bake at 300 degrees Fahrenheit for 12 to 17 minutes, rotating the tray after seven minutes. The cookies should feel firm to the touch and not bobble when you press on them. Allow them to cool completely, fill with your favorite filling, then refrigerate in an airtight container for one to three days before enjoying. A labor of love, but well worth it. I heard Buttercup fans over there. She's cool. She's cool. She actually does all. She's like, I'm gonna give her a little bit of credit here because she does. She has a baking show on YouTube. She's got like TikTok channel, and these are good recipes. So go follow Buttercup. You do. But I mean, there's like what? One, two, three, four, five. Lots more people in the room. I only have ten fingers, so. Ten fingers and eight toes. There's something wrong with this. I think I think we've gone way. Okay, we've gone to the scary on realm. We've gone to the incredibly wholesome realm. Maybe we need to find a happy middle. We got one for you. We got one for me. Okay. Uh, so how about a happy medium ground, ladies and gentlemen? A hellhound with a heart.
Ladies and gentlemen, Bacon Rabbit. Okay, so we had a hellhound playing a harp, boar machine, and a skull cat. Well, I'm kind of happy I brought this with me. This is my zombie outbreak kit. I'm happy I brought that. Let's see what's in here. Um, a USB stick. Uh, no chip. No. That, my good person, is a stereotype. Mice do not like cheese. We impract for like a nice, you know, light red wine, maybe some good crackers with it, or actually, you know what? Hey, uh, Blue? Blue, I need my provision pack because my zombie kid is empty. Thank you. Okay, here, we got it. So yeah, this is, this is what we like. Um, this should last about like a day. This should be good. Maybe use this for social distancing, you know, just stay this far back. All right. So um, next we have uh, my brain just stopped. Look at the card. What card? Oh, that's handy. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, look yourself. Recognize me and he shoes in this apron that place and its patrons have taken more than I gave them. It's not easy to know I'm not anything like I used to be, although it's true, I was never attention sweet centered. I still remember that girl. She's imperfect, but she tries. She is good, but she lies. She is hard on herself. She is broken and won't ask for help. She is messy, but she's kind. She is lonely most of the time. She is all of this mixed up and baked in a beautiful pie. She is gone, but she used to be mine. And it's not what I asked for. Sometimes life just slips in through a back door and carves out a person and makes you believe it's all true. And now I've got you, and you're not what I asked for. If I'm honest, I know I would give it all back for a chance to start over and rewrite an ending or two. For the girl Who get hurt, but who learns how to toughen up when she's bruised and gets used by a man who can't love and then she'll be stuck and be scared of a life that's inside her growing stronger each day till it finally reminds her to find just a little to bring back the fire in her eyes that's been gone by you to be mine. You to be mine. She is messy. She is lonely most of the time. She is all of this mixed up and baked in a beautiful pie. She is God, but she used to be
Hell yeah. I love this show. Props to the stagehand. He's not registered. Are we? I can't hear this. Can y'all hear that? Okay, great. So thank you very much. If you're, if you're posting pictures on social media, thank you all for that. Because we can't take pictures of ourselves up here. Well, we could, but it'd be weird. So our next act, um, true story, true story. So um, public television, PBS, sent a film crew out here. And they were filming our, um, our setup and our technical rehearsals. And we had to put this person on the spot. We didn't want to. But they performed like a trooper, and I'm just amazed that they didn't crack under the pressure. Now, having said all that, ladies and gentlemen, Alex Dino, are we ready? Are we good? Uh, almost? Not quite? Here we go. Alex Dino, everybody. Yesterday, but I... <laughs> Sorry. 
Her flying in from the lowest and highest Ducking points of the world as we grow in They can say what they want but they don't know That we don't really care, we just trying to flow Bring it out, spicy waters, my neck garlic So many falling for suits and bottles Why that mean water bottles? We're not a dishonest model in sight of the hotel. You're speaking up. We got a couple in here, y'all hit me up. Uh, my number is uh, 312555. Don't actually me up, but. <laughs> Bring it out. All the fursuits, the tails and collars. Y'all keep a sec, but I'm way too awkward to take a pic with y'all really sick suit. And honestly, it's kind of crazy. I feel safe for waiting, but I also feel safe for placing myself at this time. Yeah, that's right, you heard me. I feel sick as hell when I'm starting up a con and yeah, flying into the world. Flying in from the forest and highest tracking points of the world as we grow in. They can say what they want, but they don't know that we don't really care. We're just trying to flow. Far flying in from the lowest and highest tracking points of the world as we grow in. They can say what they want, but they don't know that we don't really care. We're just trying to flow. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, 
uh, admission to next year's Fur Fest on you. So if you don't like the winner, it's your fault. So, while you're doing that, it's been an honor and a pleasure to be your MC tonight. It's been an honor to be in front of everybody for the first time in a couple of years, and it means a lot to me that you all showed up tonight. You could have gone anywhere in the world tonight, but you chose to walk all the way down the Hall of Doom and get here. And I appreciate the heck out of you guys. So if you guys don't have your smartphones in your hands, give yourselves a round of applause for being here and being such a great audience tonight. Thank you. Thank you all very much. Um, do we have, I should not turn that way, do we have a winner yet? Do we have a winner yet? I said I can't dance. I have a TikTok that doesn't do dancing. I know, it fails. I can shake my tail. That always works. We're, we're going to get some music. Are we almost there? We'll get some music for you. We'll get some music for me? Yeah. I'm, I'm terrified. I am mortified. Am I going to walk off stage? Or No, don't do that to me. <laughs> I'm tempted to say give me my phone. I'll just throw my TikTok up here. Let's just... We can do it. Would you guys, would you guys be game for that? Hey, 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 guys. Oh, you weren't kidding. You didn't get any music. If you guys can find it, uh, my phone is hidden underneath the third floor board to the right, underneath the moldy cheese. Really? Really, guys? <laughs> can you believe my ex that Congo's Africa? You believe? I don't believe in me. <laughs> it's going to be YouTube fodder if I do it. Epic fails at the Bird Variety Show History. Send. I know how this works. For the cringe cop! <laughs> for the cringe cop? <laughs> There's enough furry cringe content as it is. I'm half of it. I know better than this. What's it? Twerk! What? Twerk? Twerk? <laughs> Ah, they can't find my phone, they can't find the winner. Come on, guys. Can't leave me hanging like this. We got one? Oh, really? Is it that close? <laughs> okay, well, that's a, that's, that, that's a, that's a development. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, I guess we're going to be answering... Is this just saying you can't figure out how to work a straw poll? No. No? Okay, so uh, here's what we're going to do. We're going to actually post this up on Twitter. So you want to check out uh, hashtag FurryFVS, uh, or you want to check out the, uh, check, keep an eye on Twitter, and we will announce the winner there. Hey, Chris. What? Where can we find the performer's social media? Where can we find the performer's social media? Well, uh, let's see here. Cassidy says it's going to be posting a panel tomorrow. Um, so if you want to go check that out, you can. Uh, other social medias, um, wow, there's a lot, we have a lot of acts tonight. If you, what, that's it? We can certainly try to do that. We got to get everybody's out on that, because we have like, we have like 18, 20 acts tonight. I love you guys. I love you too. Well, um, is first best and not first, first best Technical, technical, technical. So that's how you want to follow us. And ladies and gentlemen, I will bid you adieu for the night. Thank you all for coming. Thank you all for being here. And hopefully, if we can all follow three very basic rules, we'll see you all next year. So if you know me, if you know me, then follow along. Wash your paws, cover your maws, stay out of melee range, and we'll see you all next year. Thank you for coming to the Variety Show tonight. Have a good night, everybody. Silver Gatoman, he bought me a coffee. 
Silver Gatoman, here is the song for thee. He likes to video all the panels at the cons. You should go and watch them whether they are short or long. Silver Gatoman, you video that's not a jibe. All of you go to his YouTube channel and like and subscribe.